Hi, it's Rachel, your host here on the Money, Mindset and Miracles podcast. In today's episode, I'll be sharing my personal story of how I went from working for somebody else to growing a highly profitable coaching business and exactly how I became an accidental entrepreneur. Ask any entrepreneur or business owner why they are running a business and there is always an interesting backstory. My backstory goes something like this. It started back in 2007. I was on maternity leave from my job as a communications manager on a huge transformational program. And I'd just had my first child who at the time of this recording is currently 15. And on this particular day, I was heading back into work after seven months on maternity leave. As you could imagine, I had a real mixture of emotions about returning back to the office, doing something else, using my brain a little bit differently, maybe going to the bathroom on my own, well, hopefully, and, you know, really felt some deep emotions and worry about leaving my little boy in nursery for the first time. So there I was, walking back into the office on that first day. It was early, there was hardly any of the team at the desks yet, but one of my colleagues was just finishing a phone call. I remembered her trying to tell me what she had just learned. It took her a while to find the words and for me to actually understand what she was telling me. And as the words began to sink in, I realised that what she was telling me was our colleague and my close friend had unexpectedly died the previous day. Now, Trace was only a few years younger than me. She'd recently got married and she was really looking forward to building her future with her husband. There was talk of working abroad, having a family. You know, she had everything going for her. So this really traumatic event and having my first child was really what galvanised me to radically changing my life. And I often think of Tracy in those moments of my crazy decisions that happened. Fast forward a few months in 2007, I was doing things I never knew that A, I wanted to, or that I had the courage to do. I was, I was training as life coach after investing a large amount of my savings into a programme and later on in NLP. So any of you who have, haven't heard that term before, NLP stands for Neuro Linguistic Programming. And even when I enrolled in these training programs, I had no intention on actually running a business. But as soon as I started the training, I entered the world of the entrepreneur and budding entrepreneurs. My blinkers were off and I was in like this brand new world of not just working, but a brand new world of how you could live differently too. It wasn't all straightforward. It took another baby and several more years for me to actually set up my business and run it. But having the courage to say yes to new opportunities 15 years ago opened up a new world to me that's not just changed my life, but it's changed that of my children's life forever too. One of my earliest visions, and we'll get talking about visions a lot in this podcast, for my business was to be able to work from home. Now, that might not sound so radical right now, but this was 10 years ago and pre-COVID. And I really wanted to be at home for the children when they were at primary school and I had this vision of working from home and being on the school room. And I have done that right up until they started secondary school. So my children have always been central to my why. More about this in a future episode. So that's my story, that's my backstory. I'm sure the parts of my stories that resonated with you, and if they did, I'd really love to hear that. So drop me an email via the link in the episode's show notes below. I think my biggest lesson from this entire journey of becoming an accidental entrepreneur is always having the courage to say yes, 
even if you have no clue at that time about how that might come about, how you might achieve those things, and especially if they terrify you. In the future episodes of this podcast, I'll be sharing more about how to cultivate your own mindset so it feels possible for you to take on the impossible. So if you haven't already, I'd love for you to click subscribe now so you don't miss an episode. And if you're ready for another one, why don't you click on the next episode where I share how I probably wasted £100,000 by now. See you soon.